नमस्ते आई एम दिपाली ओरी एंड टुडे इन माई किचन वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ डिलेक्टेबल चॉकलेट कॉबलर अ वेरी चॉकलेटी रेसिपी वेरी ईजी टू मेक एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी लव बाई एवरी वन इन योर फैमिली सो विदाउट फर्दर डो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विस्किंग एंड बेकिंग लेट्स सी वॉट ऑल इनग्रीडियंट्स वी नीड फॉर दिस रेसिपी सो दिस इज अम वॉटर विच वी आर गोइंग टू बॉयल एंड वी नीड टू एंड वन बाय फोर कप ऑफ वॉटर आउट ऑफ दिस Here is half cup of butter, then 190 grams of self-raising flour. Here is one one by four cup of sugar, one three by four tablespoons of cocoa powder, three by four cup of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla. We also need some extra sugar and some extra cocoa powder for the topping. Now that we have everything at hand, let's start crafting this chocolatey recipe. So firstly, we need to preheat our oven to 175 degrees Celsius and then let's add our butter to our baking dish. Now this is the dish I used to bake my cobbler in. I will leave the link of this dish in the description box. In case you need to buy it, you can get it from there. So now while my oven is preheating, let us start preparing our dry ingredients. In a mixing bowl, I'm going to whisk together the flour. Now remember this is self-raising flour. So if you don't have your self-raising flour, try to make your own at home. So I have a recipe for that. I'll put the link somewhere on the screen here or here and I will also put the link in the description box below the video. So let me give you a tip here. Whenever measuring your flour, use a spoon to gently scoop it into your measuring cup. and then level it off with a flat edge like a knife or any spatula and this will help ensure accuracy and avoid overpacking of the flour so now in a large bowl take the flour sugar cocoa powder now let's whisk everything together Okay now once this is properly mixed together it's the time to add in the milk and the vanilla extract Now mix all of this until the mixture is just combined making sure there are no dry streaks left Now here take another tip from me to avoid over mixing stir only until the ingredients are just incorporated over mixing can make your cobbler a less tender Now pour this delicious batter over the melted butter in your baking pan. Now did you know that chocolate cobbler is also known as a hot fudge pudding cake and it is a true comfort food. Now in a separate bowl combine the remaining cocoa powder and the sugar that I told you at the beginning. Okay. So now sprinkle this cocoa sugar mixture evenly on your chocolate batter. Now it's going to create a heavenly chocolatey crust as it bakes. Now here's where the magic happens. Now carefully pour the boiling water over the top. and do not stir let it be like this now i have added 2 and 1 by 4 cup of hot boiling water now pop this beauty in your preheated oven and let it bake for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the top is dry you'll know it's done when the top forms a crust and the cobbler is bubbling underneath so here we go a chocolate cobbler is out of the oven and it smells absolutely divine Now serve it while it's warm. A scoop of vanilla ice cream or a dollop of cream is going to take it to the next level. Now finally it's time for the moment of truth, the taste test. Oh 
Oh my! This chocolate cobbler is a pure bliss. The rich gooey chocolate sauce underneath the perfectly baked top layer is like a warm hug for your taste buds. Hmm. So this is a must bake recipe and do try it and do let me know how did it turn up for you. So thank you so much for joining me today as we created this mouth watering chocolate cobbler. If you love this video do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you like making different kind of desserts consider subscribing to my channel and of course do share your thoughts and your requests in the comment section below i'll be waiting for all of them until next time happy baking